This is my video review of the Celtic Dragon Tarot. DJ Conway and Lisa Hunt. Comes in a rather huge box. Includes a 230 page book. A guide to the tarot. At the beginning, you have all about dragons, etc, etc, the magic of dragons and all this good stuff. Which then goes to a guide of the cards and tells you all the keywords for the cards and the elements included in the cards. So you get all the keywords for all the suits and then it goes into, in chapter 3 on page 11, all the major cards and then the minor cards. Each card has a black and white pick which is about the same size as the card and consumes the entire page along with the title of the card and the meanings, the keywords followed by one page description of the actual card and then the divinatory meaning. Not a lot of meat per card but it does go through what the scene means um, you know any symbolism in it so I think it's pretty thorough in a very short period of time so each card does take up two pages worth. At the back you have some tarot layouts with an expanded Celtic cross at about page 171 and it talks about the different elements, different meanings for the positions, and the little hook there on the card, along with the extra cards on the left and the right. Influences of elements, past life present influences, a bunch of different spreads, path to a goal, and then does candle spells. So it's a pretty good book. It's not as thorough as other books. It doesn't take you on a little magical happy journey like Lisa Hunt's Fairy Tale of Tarot does, but still. The cards are about the same height as an iPhone, it's slightly wider. It does come with a pretty cool looking back. I pulled out some of my favorite cards for review. The World I thought was just awesome, really bright colors and cool. The Hanged Man I thought was cool because it introduces an element of danger in the traditional Hanged Man. I like the Temperance. and the sun and I especially like the emperor because here you see him as a family man not only as a leader so always thought of him as more of a father figure and here you actually see it so the cards themselves are pretty cool colors nice scenes reminds me a lot of Lisa Hunt's fairy tale tarot they have a border but it's very unobtrusive it kind of fades into the rest of the scene it's got the title at the bottom, which is pretty small and a cool font, and it doesn't take away from the card. There's nothing on the top of the card, which I think is nice. So it's an unobtrusive border. It's a nice title at the bottom that's small. Most of the card is going to be the graphics, which I think is awesome. It's almost borderless, but it's not borderless. These do not beg to be trimmed, in my opinion. I think these are perfect as is, which is good. The card stock is just a standard card stock. Uh, it's not heavily laminated, it's not going to last you forever, but it's pretty good cardstock, it's rather thick, and I think it'll last you a long time. Overall, I like this deck and I think it's really cool. I love the colors, I love the scenes, I love the little magical journey type, you know, cards, so this is really cool. Let's take a look at the cards. As a testament to checking your merchandise when you receive it. Amazon sent me two six of pentacles and I'm missing the king of pentacles So I emailed them and probably gonna have to send the whole thing back and Get a replacement deck, which is a huge pain in my ass But I'm glad I noticed this so if you do get a deck and you buy it new go through it Make sure that you don't have two of the same card or you're missing cards